Blake here with another Builder Kids video and today we're going to be talking about planers. These are hand planers. This is the smallest one. Here's the biggest one. This is an electric hand planer and then this is just a planer. These ones you would, the big ones you could gra you grab it like this and, and you would put your weight into it like that and then, and then it takes off some wood and smooths it and then the electric one has a blade that spins on the bottom so then you can just press you can just press the button and you don't have to put your weight into it and this one just you just put the wood in you you can crank it to see like where whatever um how thick you need it and then it will and then you just put the wood in and there's another blade under there and it will just do it by itself that's right so like blake said any of these planers you would use to sand down wood so if you have something small or if you're only doing you know one or two little projects one of these hand planers might be a good option for you you can adjust the depth so if, like blake was saying there's a little blade on the bottom of this you can adjust the depth on any hand planer sometimes the adjustments are a little bit different you can see this has like a little lever that you flip up and down and it slides this one over here you twist this and then you can adjust back here and it'll adjust the blade in and out depending on how much material you want to take off and again like he said for the hand planers you're going back and forth with the electric hand planer you set your depth up here there's a knob your rotary knob you just change that and then that will determine how much material uh, that takes off with this type of planer as blake was saying you just set the depth and then you put your material in and it's just going to take off an even amount uh, across the whole board um, each time you put it through you don't want to take a whole lot off typically like an eighth inch or less um, so you're going to do a little bit at a time and you're going to send it through and plane it and maybe flip it over and take the other side depending on what you're doing with the piece of wood so we actually have a bunch of wood back here for another project a set of shelves that we're building we started with the electric hand planer because we thought that would work but it was taking a very very long time blake will show you so we took this wood it had a bit of a rough finish on it and we were using the hand or the electric hand planer on it and it took it down it did a, a pretty nice job it's kind of hard to see there's a little bit left on here um, but it was taking a very very long time um, and since we have about 40 boards to do i thought we would just get uh, a planer like this. I kind of wanted one anyway, and we're going to run all the boards through here. So we'll get this set up and we'll show you what it looks like. Blake just showed you how to use that. Um, actually, we'll show you how the electric one works as well. We'll get this one hooked up. I'll run this one through. Um, if you're doing anything like this, make sure you have the appropriate uh, safety gear, like glasses and stuff, right? And have an adult around, definitely, uh, because all these do have sharp blades on them. Um, and you don't want to get any cuts or have any, any issues. So we'll get, uh, we'll get this set up, we'll, we'll show you how this works, and then we'll run a board through here and show you how that works. Okay, so if you could see that, here's the rough, what was real rough, this was a pallet board. And you, probably know what a pallet board feels like. It feels like a very rough cut. This one, you might not be able to see it. Maybe you could hear it. It's very smooth now. So this board is very smooth. So if we ran that across the whole thing, it gives us a very smooth surface um, and it works much, much faster than doing a hand planer. So that's how that works. We're gonna get the big machine going here in a second. We're gonna run a big board through it and show you what that looks like. Okay, so we have this set. All I did was I put the wood in, I cranked it down until it touched, I took the wood out, and I turned it down just a little bit more. Um, so now I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to stick it through. This wood does have a slight cup to it, so it might not get me perfectly flat on the first pass, um, but at least we'll get to see what it looks like. Okay, ready? It's going to be loud.
Okay, so again, you might not be able to see it. You can hear it. This is super smooth, super smooth now. So we're gonna actually run the rest of these through, um, but that's how the planer works. It's very, very straightforward, very easy, right? So there's the finished product. I told you we were going to show you what it looked like when we were all done with it. That's the piece of furniture that we built. Actually, we built two of them. There's another one right there. This is for our dining room. Um, so this, that whole pile of wood that we were just showing you is what we ran through. And it's probably hard to see, but you can hear it, how smooth it is. All of this wood was that pile. We literally just ran it through the planer. We didn't do any other sanding to it. We stained it, and then we put... Um, some furniture wax like some beeswax on top of it so there's the inside of it the outside it's all the same and uh, yeah I think it turned out really nice uh, Blake and I had a fun time building this project we actually did a little bit of welding you probably saw it from one of our last videos um, we did the shelves we did welding on this one and then uh, we did the planer and did all the wood out of it Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great time if you ever need to do anything with these. And like and subscribe while you're down there. Hit the notification bell. Bye!